Okay, good morning. I'll be leading us to the beginning, but hello, we're Speedy Lot, and this is Room to You. You can, sorry, move this slide, yeah. So this is our team. So my name is Frederick Erickson. I uh, grew up in Willem Park, New Jersey, uh, and I graduated from New Jersey's Institute of Technology in uh, May of 2020 with a degree in mechanical engineering. I'm Griffin. Uh, I'm a Long Islander. I uh, graduated Hofstra University last year, and I uh, majored in computer science and mathematics. And I'm Jody. I went to Pace University. I'm from New York, and I just graduated a few months ago with a marketing degree. Okay, so here's our introduction. Customers today need car washes, oil changes, and other services, but often end up putting them off because they're just too busy to stop whatever they're doing, find a service provider, drive to said service provider, and then wait in lengthy lines for unpredictable service. Luckily, room 2 locates nearby service providers helps users find the best in their area, and best of all, brings them straight to the customer. Gone are the days of waiting in, un oh, sorry, never ending lines for unpredictable service. Let us room to you. So this is our product overview. Overall, room to you creates pleasant experiences for both parties. And um, with the help of room to you, customers can locate nearby providers of a variety of needed car services. And they can also enjoy the seamless booking through the app and straightforward payment using the Stripe API. On the other end, room to you service uh, providers can relish the clean, hassle-free appointment management. And when the time comes, the trusted service provider takes the job directly to the customer. And with that, I'll pass the mic to Fred, who will describe our appeal and features. Thank you, Jody. So one of the goals of our application was to keep a simple and clean user interface for a pleasant user experience. Uh, our application can also support a variety of businesses as they relate to car services. Uh, for example, one business can offer car washes, whereas another business can offer on-site oil changes. Our user interface is also effortless and intuitive in the sense that the moment that you log in and the moment that you create an account, there's a sort of waterfall effect that will lead you through the application so if you do want to make an appointment, it, it leads you to that end goal. Uh, our application is also exclusive. Um, there are no other applications that offer this many services at this level of accessibility, which we will demonstrate in the demo. And we also support local businesses as businesses that are present on our application improve their reputations in their communities and enhance their digital profiles. So for some, uh, as for some of the technologies, we have Axios, which um, it, it's um, streamlines and amplifies a lot of the communication between the user and the database, because if they wanted to, in terms of uploading the database, if they wanted to, it, it simplifies the communication. If you wanted to add something to the database and then return something of what they just um, added, then that would be extremely, that would take multiple requests, but with Axios, it takes only one, so that very much streamlines a lot of the communication. And there's also Stripe, uh, makes payments much easier. It can uh, distinguish on the spot between real and fake cards. Uh, it makes it, it allows the, uh, the application to make an ap appointment only if the payment is successful. And uh, again, if there's if the card number is fake or if the, uh, the expiration date is in the past, it just tells you immediately without even needing to, uh, to pay, without needing to click pay. Okay, so just to uh, just to sum everything up, the customer gets a complete app for accessing everything they could possibly need for their car. They don't need to do anything besides just click on the offer they want and make their deposit. Everything after that is handled for them. They don't they don't have to drive anywhere. They don't have to do anything else. As for the uh, the provider, they get um they get an assurance that they're paid because um that that happens very early on. Uh, they get to easily manage all of their appointments. Uh, and the uh, because the app is so seamless, uh, repeated business from customers is very likely and encouraged. And the and the community uh, gets sees an improved improved connection between its uh, local businesses and the local customers it can serve, because um, it lists all the providers near a uh, customer sees all the providers near them. So the the businesses reach out to more customers and the customers find more businesses, which leads to more business based on word of mouth. So the community can grow. And um, it also allows those businesses to increase their digital presence um, even past the community a little bit with um, by getting themselves on the map. All right, sweet. And that brings us to our demo. Uh, 
so here is our application. It's a uh, it's very simple, but uh, I think very good. Uh, we have here a nav bar with um, some links. We have the home link, create an account link, and login. So let's go ahead and start from the beginning. Let's create an account, and it's asking us what kind of account are we trying to create? Because on our website we have providers and we have customers. So let's say I'm going to create a customer account. I type in a username and a password. We do have validation here, however, that if I do type in a username that is already taken, um, and I'll create the password, let's just call it password, it'll give me an error saying that that username is already taken. Um, so let's pick something unique. And if I don't type in any password, we also have a check to make sure that a password is needed. So let's go ahead and make this password password, just so I remember. Uh, X out of that. Now we enter our location. Uh, same thing. If I try to cheat, if I try to skip this screen, it'll tell us that all of these fields are required. So let's go ahead and type in my address. Let's say uh, three six years, Sugarland, and let's set our state to Texas. And uh, for the zip, 77498. Uh, everything spelled correctly, so let's go ahead and continue. Now we type in our personal details, same validation. If I try to create, it'll tell me that the fields are required. So let's go ahead, put my name, Fred Erickson, uh, I'll put 999. And then for my email, I'll put fred at test.com, just so you have something there. Now we can create our account. It'll give me an alert saying that my account is, um, was created successfully and it'll bring me to the login page so I can now log in with my newly created account. My username was Erickson008 and my password was password. So now that we have created an account and we have logged in, we're redirected to the home screen and you can see here my username is presented on the nav bar. We also have a couple more options on our nav bar such as log out edit account, appointments, and services. If I click on appointments, you'll notice that it brings me to the appointment page, but I don't currently have any appointments. Uh, if I click on services, I can view the services offered on our application, such as basic full body washes, premium body washes, et cetera. And if I click on home, that brings me back to home. And this link right here actually also brings me to services. Uh, with each service, you can view the providers that offer that service. For instance, if I click the basic full body wash service, I can see two providers, Elite Auto Spa and Deluxe Detail. One is in Texas, one is in Florida. Uh, just so we know, uh, not all of these services are offered by all of our providers. For instance, if we want a steam cleaning, that is only offered by Elite Auto Spa. So let's go ahead and click view providers for full basic body wash. And let's schedule one with Elite Auto Spa. I can click schedule an appointment and it'll ask me for a date and a time. So let's say I wanna schedule it for next Friday. And the time I will set for 8 a.m. If I click book it, it'll bring me to our payment uh, page. And uh, Griffin was instrumental in this uh, aspect of our application. So I'll go ahead and let him take the lead here. All right, so just uh, type in type type in a number that won't won't work. Sure. Uh, so you sent me this list this morning. Do you want me to type in uh, one of the declining? Yeah. Numbers? Sure. So what should happen now, Griffin? If I click pay now. If you click pay now, it'll tell you that your card's declined and it won't do anything. Cool. Yeah. All right. Now try the uh, not, not hmm. okay. Yeah. Now try the now try the processing error number. Again, error, still on this page, absolutely nothing changes. Uh, now try, okay, now try the successful number. Sure. Awesome. There you go. Thank We're on the appointment page and the appointment has been made. Thank you. So as you can see, our payment was, success uh, was successful and we have now successfully added an appointment to our page. We can see that it was, uh, we have an appointment with Elite Auto Spa for this date and at my location, so the provider will come to my location to fill the service. Now, Jody, say uh, 
I, I made a mistake here. I don't think I want it so early. I don't think I can get up at that time. How can I change this time to, to be something later on in the day? Luckily, we can easily utilize the update button. Um, selecting that, we can adjust the time and appointment date. Sweet, thank you. Go ahead and I guess give them like a 2 p.m. <laughs> sure. And if I click submit here, update is successful. And as you can see, our appointment is updated. Thank you, Jody. Jody, I just realized I don't I don't have a car though. Uh, so how do I how do I delete this appointment? Well, luckily we can also utilize the delete button and not have to worry about making an appointment for a car we don't own. <laughs> <laughs> sure. So uh, so what so um, I click delete, it brings me to this page. If I click cancel, it'll bring me back to appointments. But like Jody said, if I click delete and delete again, we have successfully deleted our appointment, we are redirected back to our appointments page, and we have no appointments. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and actually schedule an appointment, however, because there is something that I want to demonstrate later on. Uh, I'll have to go ahead and redo this. And in case anyone is wondering if we delete an appointment, we do not offer refunds. So uh, just, a, just a note there. So we are logged in as Ericsson's user eight. Let's go ahead and log out and let's log in as one of our providers. So if we log in, uh, one of our providers was Elite Autospot and their login username is Elite Autospot. And their password is also password. Uh, Elite Autospot is a provider on our page and they have separate um, functionality. Uh, if you click on appointments, you can see that they have some appointments with some of our other users, and they also have an appointment now created with us. So on this page, we see our customer, we see their phone number and their email, just in case we needed to contact them for, for any reason. And we also have their location. Um, and so this, this is good in the sense that it, dis it displays a different card than when you are logged in as a customer. Uh, if I log out and I log back in as that customer, uh, it was Ericsson 008. There is something else that we can do with our account. We can click edit account and I can change some of the uh, details of my account. So let's say I actually changed my name. My name is now John. If I click submit, it'll say update is successful. I log out and if I log back in as we auto spa, we'll be able to see that that update works. And the, the same principles uh, apply for date and time. So that is our application. Uh, and uh, I hope you enjoyed our little demonstration. That was fantastic. And so one thing I really want to give you kudos on is getting Stripe to work. So I have seen hundreds of these presentations. I've seen, I don't know how many people stretch goal with Stripe and fail miserably with epic frustration and, you know, just giving up and, and faking it, right? Because it, it can be so challenging. So I would love to hear a little bit more about that journey in implementing Stripe because that is, that it was really impressive. And I'm, I'm amazed to see how much functionality you got. Yeah, sure. So for the Stripe API, actually, our front runner was uh, Griffin. He was the guy that struck it out. So I'm sure he could talk more uh, more on that. Yeah, D David was a really big help. He, the, uh, the problem with um, the Stripe page itself helped a fair bit, but the problem is a lot of the um a lot of the help that the the um the Stripe page offered used a, a different implementation from what we were doing, so it was a matter of you had to figure out which parts were the most relevant, what wasn't, what was relevant but had to be used slightly differently. It was it was a uh, it was probably the hardest part of this whole thing, at least for me. It was um it was a night <laughs> it was a nightmare. D David was a really big help. He, I couldn't have done it without him. He, he was great, uh, and I'm, I'm really glad I got it to work in the end. It, full, the full, when we realized it had full functionality, it was super satisfying. But it did require a lot of, um, it required a lot of trial and error on, on the both on the uh, the back end and on the React side of things.
Well, you did it. It was awesome. I know I've seen I've seen a lot of failure in that department. So kudos to you guys for, for making that happening. Well done, Griffin. Um, I, I, David is asking, how did you settle on this time? I mean, we were stuck for, we came up with a few different ideas, right? We <laughs> we came up with like one idea that could be delivered to people. Um, we came up with um, another idea, which could be delivered to people. We also came up with a third idea, which could sort of transition to being delivered to people. And we were tr- when we were trying to come up with ideas and we finally settled on one of them, we're like, wait, why not just incorporate all of them? It'll, it'll be an all-in-one service in which people people can deliver a whole bunch of different services, yeah. and the ad, and um and the central idea would be that all of the services would be taken directly to them, regardless of what kind. Yeah, that was such a cool idea. I wish that existed. Yeah, we uh we actually started off as uh, like Griffin was saying, we put down a couple of ideas down, and our initial goal was actually to be a snow removal, uh type of service where you can do the same thing, but then we decided this is a little bit too simple. Let's, let's push ourselves and let's make it into car services. We, we struggled a little bit, but we got it done. Really, really well done, you guys. Um, I've got a question. I think we've got a few more here. So we'll, we'll quickly touch on Adams. So I'm thinking this one might be a little bit quick. How'd you guys get the valid decline in error card numbers? I assume those were not real card numbers. Yeah, no, it was your credit card number. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, that's a, that, that was offered on the uh, Stripe API's documentation page. They gave us a couple of test cards for us to use. So Awesome. So one of the things we didn't talk about with the last group, but I would love to hear um, from you guys. You guys accomplished a ton. I'm curious, looking at what you um, started with in your plan and where you landed, how much of your plan did you accomplish and how did you achieve you know, whatever percentage of that plan? Yeah, so, so I guess I could talk a little bit about that. Um, we didn't achieve all of the goals that we wanted to achieve. Uh, for instance, one of our goals was actually to, to uh, implement a Google Maps API to mm-hmm. see what providers are actually near you and to schedule appointments for providers that are near you. But we didn't get to, to reach that goal just because uh, we only had two weeks. But um, the stand-ups and the stand-downs helped every day in keeping us uh, in line with our, uh, with what we wanted to accomplish. And um, I don't know if Jody and Griffin want to add anything about that. It was, uh, it was a journey, but. Yeah, definitely starting off using like the project section in GitHub, helped us to organize what is gonna go where to begin with. And then just as Eric, um, as Fred said, um, just doing those standups every day, going over the exact checklist of what did we do yesterday? What didn't follow through yesterday that needs to be pushed today? kept us really accountable each day. I'd say the goals, yeah, I'd, I'd say the goals were a little bit fluid. We had to, we did have to change a little bit of what we were planning to do next uh, based on our daily standups of what we did the previous day and uh, what seemed logical to build on from that and what to shift higher or lower priority based on what we had. Well, you guys accomplished a lot. And I know everyone um, tries to be ambitious, right? On that Friday, as you start to plan and as you get going, right, you go big and then you figure out what, what uh, you can actually get done. So I'm, I'm really proud of what you did get done. It's incredible. Thank you. Any other questions? All right, well, huge round of applause, you guys. I am just so impressed, so proud of the incredible work that you guys, guys did here. I, it is really cool.